You might not know it by looking at Denver Zoo's peaceful grebe zebras, but their species is in trouble. They're listed as endangered, with less than 2,500 left in the wild due to habitat loss, competition with livestock, and poaching. Denver Zoo is dedicated to saving grebe zebras through conservation, not only on zoo grounds, but in the wild as well. We currently have a staff biologist in Kenya to study these beautiful creatures. He recently took a three-week trip to a remote part of Kenya to survey the zebra population and gather data, and shared his thoughts of the trip and some video. Part of the zoo's work and my research here involves learning about animals such as grabby zebra, fixing them with radio collars, understanding their movements, learning to count them so we can tell how many there are and we can monitor populations and monitor their movements and using this information to feed back into the management and conservation of the species. Many places where in the past people had seen grevies or there were reports of grevies were now no longer harboring grevies. There were a lot of people with illegal guns, there was a lot of illegal hunting. But at the same time we found some extremely motivating and stimulating things. Sundarason says he was encouraged by sites like this, a huge herd of African antelope called topi, and the efforts of locals to protect their own wildlife. Right on the border with Ethiopia in a place called Feroli, in a tiny little hamlet, a group of um, folk had banded together and declared a 600 square kilometer area sacred and um, decided that that area would be solely for wildlife and um, prevents and they prevent people from going in there, they prevented hunting and they have made small progress in the last few months. Helping Denver Zoo's year-round efforts to save the Grevy Zebra.